Sometimes making your mark and achieving cult status means deviating from the norm. I'll let you decide if these are fit to become legend. This is Reacher with Mind's Eye Design and here are 15 unusual vehicle conversions from around the world. Number 15. It goes without saying that there's more to an off-road vehicle than simply mounting a chassis on four wheels. Greek 4x4 rally race champion Stefano Sattar decided to have a little fun when he took on this endeavor. He started with the powertrain from a Mercedes-Benz Unimog 406 series. The six-cylinder 346 cubic inch diesel engine produces 84 horsepower and 191 pound-feet of torque. Oversized 55-inch tires give the vehicle over 2 feet of ground clearance and a total height of 12 feet. This is the perfect mix to awaken the inner child and anyone who sees it. Number 14. Nothing really stands out in LA's anything goes atmosphere, but if you see this one on the street, you might take a second glance. Someone got the brilliant idea to make a limousine using the trimmed down body of a Boeing 727 and a chassis from a bus. The 53 foot long vehicle weighs 12 tons and can hold up to 50 people. Inside, you'll find a fireplace, TVs, a full bar, and a dance floor with strobe lighting. It can be rented out for $100,000 a month, or you can buy it outright for $1 million from a guy named Limo Bob. If you're interested, you'll find the link below. Number 13. This monstrosity named Phantoms was built by W.T. Burgess with a bit of inspiration from a 1937 Bugatti Atlantic. He stripped down a 1968 VW Beetle to nothing but the motor, suspension, steering, and transaxle. Then he topped it with a wire armature and covered that with small pieces of two-gauge steel all welded together. The 1900-pound two-seater gets its name from the gargoyle heads mounted on the fenders and front end. LED lighting gives the eyes a blue glow which adds to the sinister look of the car. Can you imagine seeing this blue-eyed beast coming at you in the middle of the night on a desert road? Number 12. Jeff Block, who goes by the moniker Speedy Cop, designed this barely running pile of crazy to drive in the 24 hour of Lemons, an endurance race for cars that cost under $500 to build. He took a 1990 Ford Fiesta and topped it with an inverted 1999 Chevy Camaro body. The Ford's wheels are hidden underneath, which gives the impression that the car is skidding along the track upside down. Block says he's an eight-year-old kid trapped in an adult's body with just enough know-how to pull off these wacky ideas. He's definitely one of the people who ignore asking why and just ask, why not? Number 11. West Oakland, California resident Rebecca Caldwell built this amazing work of art somewhere around the year 2000. I can't say why she was inspired to do so, but it works and it's street legal. It's actually two cars in one as there's a VW Bug on top of the 1971 hearse. Caldwell says she could get a bit faster than 60 miles per hour if she was going downhill and the car is a major gas guzzler which she felt guilty for driving. It was rumored that there was a bed in the Beetle accessible by a hole in the roof of the hearse. That would officially make this the world's most metal motorhome ever. Number 10. Artist Jeremy Dean created this as a heavily satirical embodiment of what a post-oil future will be like. He got his idea from the Hoover cars of the Great Depression where many Americans had horses pulling their cars because they were unable to afford gasoline. He bought a used Hummer H2 for $15,000, took it to a garage and started cutting pieces off of it. All of the modifications were made using existing parts from the car. In the end, it all weighed just under 2,000 pounds. If the economy does collapse, Dean could be one of the lucky few to find work by building vehicles like these for the wealthy and elite. Number 9. California-based water car developed three amphibious prototypes between 1999 and 2010. One of these was the Python. It's powered by a 450 horsepower Corvette engine on land while a rear dominator engine handles everything on water. It can reach land speeds of up to 127 miles per hour and water speeds of up to 60 miles per hour. It can be driven straight into the water without reducing your speed. All it takes is the press of one button to retract the wheels and start the jet motor. Imagine how cool a high-speed police chase could potentially be if the suspects were using the Python as a getaway car. Number 8. The Tryon 2 was created by a German carpenter aptly named Friend Wood. Its base is a Citroen 2CV chassis with two wheels in front and one in back. After shaping the body's shell, he molded and glued three layers of 1.5mm mahogany veneers, which he then buffed to a mirror-like finish. Because of its light weight at only 900 pounds, the car's internal combustion engine is capable of 90 miles per gallon with a top speed of 101 miles per hour. 
Wood put about 2,000 hours into building the car, so I don't even want to imagine the pile of kindling this would turn into if it got in an accident. Before you get caught up in modifying your car, be sure and hit that subscribe button. Also, click on that bell icon so you can stay up to date on all the latest and greatest from Mind's Eye Design. Number 7. This fully functioning hot tub on wheels gives a whole new meaning to the term carpool. Engineers Duncan Forster and Phil Weicker came up with the original idea in 1996 using an 82 Malibu as their prototype. After years of testing and redesigning, they switched to using a 69 Cadillac DeVille. They tested the equipment for heating, filtering, and pumping the water, as well as redesigning the suspension to account for the added weight. The Cadillac's 472 cubic inch V8 can still hit speeds of 50 miles per hour even when the car is full of water. According to Forster, you haven't really lived until you've sat in a hot tub and watched the world roll by. Number 6. The Transition is a folding wing two-seat street legal aircraft billed as the world's first practical flying car. It flies like a typical light aircraft in the air and drives like a typical car on the ground. It runs on unleaded gasoline and converts from driving to flight mode in under a minute. When in flight, it has a ceiling of 10,000 feet and a cruising range of 400 miles with a top speed of 100 miles per hour. There's even a full vehicle parachute in addition to the normal vehicle safety features. TerraFusia is finalizing production and compliance testing in preparation for a 2019 delivery date for the first vehicles. Number 5. Vehicles with advertisements on them are everywhere these days. But this one designed and built by Big Daddy Vinny of Discovery Channel's The Customizer may be as unique as it gets. Vinny started with a 1999 Monte Carlo and a pool table from Brunswick Billiards. After weeks of crafting and consulting with people such as famed custom car creator George Barris, the car was finally ready to hit the road. The pool table is fully detachable and the car itself can reach speeds up to 100 miles per hour. The car has become such a popular attraction that there's already talk of changing the front end to a new Camaro, Rolls Royce, or Bentley to update the look for the future. Number 4. Ron Patrick, an extremely daring individual, built this jet car for fun, and yes, it's street legal. He chose the Beetle because he liked the look and how well it showed off the jet engine. 700 amps of current go into the motor for 20 seconds during startup. To light the afterburner, he holds a starter button down and a half second later presses a hot streak button on the floor. Then some very noticeable things happen. The idea is that you drive around on the gasoline engine and when you want to have some fun, you spin up the jet and get on the burner. This is the guy who plays GTA and sees nothing but inspiration. Number 3. MG Verbanis makes specialty gates and fences, but a bit of inspiration pulled them away from their usual work to create this ornate work of art. The design was first sketched before the sheet metal body was removed from a 1970 Type 1 VW Beetle. The metal work was so precise that the window glass could be refitted into the original rubber moldings. The seats were redone with hand-stitched leather while the exterior was given an extra flourish with Swarovski crystals and 24 karat gold leaf accents. The car actually runs and is great for a leisurely drive, assuming it doesn't rain. Number 2. No explanation is needed as to where the inspiration for this one came from. It was built in 2012 for a reported $4.2 million. Details are sketchy, but if this is correct, it would make it the most expensive limo ever built, even topping U.S. presidential limos, which run one to 1.5 million each. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be legal, but I'm wondering if it features all the gadgets used by Batman, such as the missile launchers, ejectable wheels, and that awesome jet engine. Even if it isn't fitted with all the gadgets the original had, this limo is definitely the one to choose when your average limo simply won't do. You're absolutely going to love our number one pick. Be sure to tell us in the comments what you thought of this list, and, as always, we welcome all suggestions. Number one. This all-terrain gamer started as a 2009 Tacoma double cab long bed pre-runner. The B-pillars were removed and gold wing doors were installed to increase space and add shelter for gamers. A theater-style seating configuration was created to intensify the gaming, with leg support being added for the outer chairs. 
Four interior monitors were placed on swing arms to allow the cab to be converted from a drivable truck to a video haven. The gaming system is complemented by a two-channel kicker audio system. A 304 horsepower 4 liter V6 provides the power to get you to your destination so you can enjoy the great outdoors while still pursuing your passion for gaming. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.